Do you see Pim? Look at this. No, because you didn't have it close. Did you see it though? It went right to red. Crazy. Here, I'll uh, I'll do this. I'll flip the camera so you guys can see what we're doing. Uh, nothing like putting a haunted doll in a cemetery. And the light. But like, why is the doll showing electromagnetivity when there's nothing around it? I do not understand. And look at it. Okay, let's ask it another question. Okay. And what is your what? Okay, uh, we asked it if its name is Pim. It's gonna show. It shows bring me or bring him. Creepy. Why isn't this focusing? Bring him. Bring who? It's going. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. You alright, Grace? <laughs> I'm just. A little stressed out. Reach me. Oh. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Well, your phone is near it, though. True, but still, like... But the phone has to be over top of it. Okay, so we're getting a spike. Dark. Dark. Good to know. Okay. Do you mean it's going to get dark soon? I really hope that's what you're meaning. Please say that. Grace and her little friend, who won't go into focus. There we go, finally. There's no one live on TikTok. Be it says became. Became? Became what? Oh, good lord. You guys, are these voices here kind of creepy on this device? It's still doing the FM, like, it sorts through, it does the spirit boxing. It still does it, and then, yeah. But just... Oh. oh my god, the same time that it did that in the app, in that, in the app? Yeah. It spiked on there. Oh. So this is come through. And oh. the spirit box is going active at the same time, all three. And you can see I'm far away from it. Bananas. He's going to orange. How is this even happening? <laughs> I've never, okay, I've owned this thing for a year, Grace. Then, I have never seen it do that. Especially to an inanimate object like a doll. To a doll uh, sitting on a stone in the like middle. Nowhere. There's no hydrogen lights, there's nothing around here. I mean, there's people off in the distance, but I just forgot I was holding the camera too. Hey, Salima. Hey, Isabel. Hey, Salima. It's Grace. We're with our new friend, Pim. Oh, super fun. So look at that. Look at that. It's going. Yeah, and so is the other device. At the same time, two energy spikes in two different places. Super fun. Yell. Oops. Yell. I just heard a dog bark. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. 
Oh, I keep forgetting I have this camera. Riley. Riley? Okay. Who's Riley? Look at that. So we're just, uh, you know, in the in the place where the people are. Uh, Lily's grave is right there, for those who know. Assault. Assault. Super fun. That happened last time we were here. Literally the same word. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Thanks, Ina Inaka. Uh, this is the uh, spot where we had the um, tree explode. Yeah. <laughs> the, what oh, app? Oh. So we have multiple different apps. Uh, Necro Phonic is one of them. Um, ghost detector. We do. We have a ghost detector, and then I have a K2 out here too. So I Damn. will show you. So we're using the K2, and the K2 keeps reacting. Um, there's nothing. Like I have, she has her phone way over there. I have the camera with me, um, you know. So that's what we're doing. Um, this is the same spot where Lily's ghost is, but we brought a new little friend to go with. And he's been going off nonstop the whole time. And for those of you who have been with me, you know that the K2 never works for me ever. And the second we put it on this doll, like Grace, can you take the K2 off the doll or is he gonna fall? Take the K2 off. Okay. Well, Just give it a second because it has to reset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. I know. I feel like... Uh-oh. Maybe it's you. Maybe you've got a ghost. I'm, well, something oh. has been around me. Why is it every time I touch it, though, it goes back to normal? It's still going off. You're so spooky, Grace. Look, see, I walked away from Grace. It's light. It's, it's staying light. I wonder if we're talking about that. Okay, I'm turned away from Grace. Now I'm turned towards Grace. Now I'm turned away from Grace. Now I'm turned towards Grace. What is going on? This You're. It's me? you. I'm telling you. I'm telling from last week. So maybe you should tell the people what happened to me last week. Oh, hey, Donna. Um, yeah. Here, I'll give that back to you. That's super fun. Now it's one, look. No, it's because I'm going around him. Stand over here if you can. Sorry, I'm, I'm ordering you around. No, okay. No, three, hold on. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's so upset. What the hell? I just laughed really loud in the middle of a cemetery. says you. Well, <laughs> any electronic, there's no, I don't have anything on me. Like, electronic wise, I don't have a phone, I don't have, I don't even have my Apple watch today, so, the, and then now it's green. Yeah. I had to blow on a mosquito, it was flying it's green around. Right now, look. Well, sorry to tell you. Look at this, look at this. Solid. <laughs> When you go, it goes near him. Solid. And guys, when I put when I put it in my hand, it does nothing. So. So this is a, like literally, it's a wooden like it's a doll with wooden shoes. <laughs> He's got wooden legs. He's, He's very cute. Plastic. He's very cute. I love him. That's why I fell in love with him. Um, I named him him. He says and told us if he, he likes his name or not. Look at that. Solid. Guys, there's all of the electronics are on that side of her. So. I want to try if Lily's here. Yeah, I want to see Lily. Okay, Lily. So as you see, I, as you can see, I can't speak today. As you can see, I brought my friend him. If you can come make this light go all the way over here and make a beautiful red for me, can you do that for us? Give it a touch. Touch the little device or the doll. I can't believe it's going off. Like, it was going crazy the second she touched it. I, yeah. Like, I turn it on, it's just normal. She touches it, it goes crazy. And it's been going crazy the entire time. Lily? Grace is spooky. She is. 
<laughs> um, okay, so I should tell everybody preface. So a few yeah. weeks ago, a month ago, I had surgery, and I'm not just sure if I brought something back with me after surgery because the Rachel cat. That's what happened was that I actually saw a full um, apparition to them at the hospital, and that was confirmed by the nurses. Sunnybrook Hospital is haunted. It's an old hospital. It is haunted. I did see one of those old-fashioned nurses that sent Catherine what exactly I saw. I saw yeah. two of them. Um, the two nurses that attended to me after the surgery who, uh, you can't leave after surgery, so I had to sit up. I was talking, totally cognizant, totally aware. They confirmed that this place is haunted. I will show you guys after what I saw. But any, anyhow, since then, weird things have been happening around the house. Um, There's a dog. I just <laughs> wasn't sure what that was. My husband has been hearing his name being called. He does not believe in this at all. He is a science guy. He laughs at me that I call all this stuff and I'm into this stuff. He does not believe this. His name has been called. Weird things around the house have been happening, but nothing malicious, nothing Oops. threatening. And this is before we even got him. I just got him last week. So I think whatever happened to me in the hospital, I'm not saying I died, but I think something from the hospital came with me. I'm not too sure because it's something not normal. Has been going on in our house. Yeah, Donna thinks you have an attachment. I quite possibly believe so, but again, it's nothing malicious. I, if anything, has been helping me go like get through like the surgery. Has been super kind, super protective. What that's about the what shouting? Oh, oh my gosh, that's right. I forgot about that. So last week I called <laughs> Catherine. It happened to me last weekend. I was dead sleep, like, and um, just like when we have when you're like in the hypnotic state, or was it? when your leg kind of twitches and you wake up from a sleep. Rem, yeah. This was four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm at full asleep, dead sleep, and something or someone yelled so loud in my ear, but it was, I was in a dream state and it was definitely not in my dream because it actually woke me up. That's how loud it was. So something or someone yelled in my ear to the point where it woke me up and I have no idea what it is. And again, it's not a malicious, it wasn't a, it's something trying to get my attention. I think that's what it is. Whatever it is, something's trying to get my attention. There's a lady walking over here. She's kind of scary looking. Yeah. She looks like a silver. I'm trying not to get her on film. <laughs> she's, she's shouting. She come towards us? Yeah. Directly. Maybe put the K2 away. Or maybe she's not even here. She's not I kind of. <laughs> I do that quite a bit. Do, 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 do. As Chris says, as long as I don't argue or get in fact myself, it's perfectly fine. I always she's argue just chatting away with her headphones on. She's just walking over people's graves. That's all. That's the only thing. I don't. I don't like doing that. <laughs> yeah. So Grace uh, had a had a screamer. I think she has head. Oops! I think she has headphones in. Okay. That's probably why she's like not even paying attention to what's going on. Yeah, I'm getting mosquitoes biting me, but like not actually. They're just like touching my skin. So yeah. So I've been trying to figure out what it means for the yelling in my voice. I've been meditating and asking questions. Um, I don't know. You don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. I don't know what it is. Like I don't know what they tend to like. What? And I've been like literally been like meditating. Like what is it you want me to know? Like what? Like you know, I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay, what's the message? Besides me being stubborn, I know that. <laughs> Your face, you need to look over at Pim. Like, literally, this has been going on oh my God. since we got here. Non-stop. And, like, me putting my phone close to it doesn't make it no. go anymore. Well, oh, that one does. Well, yeah, because you put the phone right on it. Exactly. You know, like... But I'm saying, like, but this, that, like I'm saying, but, this is with the phone. So but the, the but this device has to like literally touch whatever There's electrical nothing around here you guys watched me do that whole debunking live like i kept putting things against it to see like i put it on my laptop i put it on the laptop's charger it did go off but only when it was like literally on the laptop's charger while it was plugged in like literally had to so well this is what electricians use this is when people fear like when they're they're here and seeing things they're feeling sense of things because there's an emf leak and that causes people to go crazy and then people actually think they're hallucinating causes it does cause hallucination 
Yeah. I was actually talking to one of my best friends who's a psychotherapist about this and saying it's very common in older houses. People think they're hearing voices and seeing things or hearing things because it's Cause there's more a gas auditory, leak. right? Than uh -huh. it is visual. And because of that, um, people come in, especially older houses that, that have poor wiring, it does leak uh, high frequency EMF. So it's like, A, if you're pissing away money because it's not properly, you know, uh, controlled, but two, it actually causes physical illnesses to people. I know. <laughs> a little fluff floating by all of a sudden. I don't know where it went. So, anyhow, but that's what I'm saying. Like this one specifically. These are like the old fashioned, like my friends are electrician. These are the straight, like you say, they bring into houses. This is it. Yeah. I'll take you guys on a little walk around for a second. So, this is Lily's grave, but it's just her headstone. Her body's not here, um, and we don't really know why. Uh, we did a lot of communicating with her last time, and in fact, we left sweets, and the sweets are gone completely. Um, What's new is there's a little, uh, someone's shirt right there. So that's kind of fun. Um, there's like a little, oh, this is more overgrown than last time. There's like a little area. I'm gonna try and get down here. This is where the tree exploded last time, if you guys recall. Uh, so I'm gonna go down this way. Just trying to get through the brambles. Um, oh, I feel weird down here. Uh, we are in the cemetery. I definitely should not be down here. I don't feel good again. And this happened last time before a tree over there exploded. <laughs> so that's super fun. Um, there was knocking coming from inside here. The energy is a little bit different. It's not as uh, big this time as it was last time. I am getting a headache. Um, and dizzy. But there's lots of like liquor drinks here. Uh, this is the Knowles family tomb um, that we visited last time. And someone has done a ritual here um, previously. Uh, no, it's not disrespectful to actually visit a cemetery, but cool. Go on, go off. Um, Very fun. Lots of like liquor cans and stuff down there. Hmm? So it's oh, like yeah. alcohol. People are just all fine teenagers. Well, I get shocked when I came here a few years ago. There was a full on uh, Ouija board, like a makeshift Ouija board candle. Right it there. looks like they had some kind of seance going on because it was, I think it was, a, uh, it was one of the full moons. It's like in September, so I can see people. I keep smelling um, chlorine, like from a swimming pool. Right now. Interesting. I'm checking like the bottom of my shoes because there's logs here. This is the poop. I like. Last thing I need is someone recording my video. Um, I just blocked someone because they were like, "What you're doing is disrespectful," and they had like super Jesus stuff in their profile. Uh, Bible no, it was, um, like it has the Star of David on it, so I don't want to assume. Oh. So. I don't want to make any groups mad. <laughs> okay, so I have... Wait, like, I'm sorry, but the ultra-religious people scare the crap out of me. Yeah, they scare me worse. Like, and I always tell people, as I tell my friends, my friends offer me, all the religions, like any religion, I was born and raised Catholic, I find that all religions have like this crazy doctrination, which freak me out because those doctrinations are the ones that cause the most damage. Yeah. Um, the only organized religion in terms of the tenets that make sense to me is, uh, what you call it? The Temple of Saint, Saint Temple, like with that one. Yeah. Their tenets, to me, make the most sense. If you want to be a decent human being, they got it right. Absolutely. And they're the only ones when they make, like, they actually, especially, I know the one, I think it's in San Diego, they do, like, food drives, monthly, 
they do um, for homeless females. They give um, well, they don't tell people how to live their life too. No, and they don't ostracize people. And like, yeah. Um, so where are, am I? So I can give you a hint if you've been around for a while. If you haven't, that's okay. So this is where we are. Uh, you will recognize this. This is the grave of Lily Hunt. Um, and then right behind me is the Masonic Temple uh, Mausoleum, where last time I was here, it, there was a lot of activity, there was a lot of speaking. Um, and what had happened was uh, a tree exploded and scared me and poor Grace. I was sitting here and all I heard was like a big crack and a tree fell on that side. Like, it and I was exploded. like, um, did you do that? Like. Um, it was a loud crack, like, and you can actually see the remnants there. Like, you can still yeah, see the remnants of the tree are the still back there. Yeah. And I have um, my camera recording. Here, I'll show you guys. The remnants of the tree are right back here. there. Right here. That's a big crack. That's what we heard. Oh yeah, right there. Okay. I don't want to stand on the mausoleum, but th this is the tree that exploded a year ago. Um, someone asked, how is it that TST, the, what's TST? Is bad, oh, there the are amendments. Oh, the temple, the satan satanic, satanic temple. Satanic temple. How it's what? Uh, how is it bad if there are amendments more humane than Catholic? They're not bad. They're not bad at all. No, no, no. They're like, no, I was as again, the born, born and raised as a Catholic. Um, if you read the tenets of Satan, like the Church of Satan, they are the most uh, pro in terms of like pro life, not pro life, pro choice. Uh, they are inclusive. So it doesn't make a difference of what your ability, what your sexual orientation is. Um, it's just something like my eye. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my eye either. Um, no, they're very progressive and they don't. They're not preachy. Like, all yeah. oh, religions are preachy. And, like, they make you feel bad for just existing where they're like, no, you walk your own path. And That's, like, the problem that I had with most for me was just, like, religion. too much. Yeah. I'm going to turn this to stare at... I think I just sat on Teresa. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. I'm going to set this to sit and look at Lily while I've got the uh, phonic app going. So that can record. Uh, don't don't avoid anything pro Satan. Just avoid anything pro um, like too much. You know what I mean? Like if people are too much, I'm just taking you over um, to see other parts of the, the graveyard. There's some really um, good room. This is actually a big family here in Toronto. Um, there's a lot of really famous graves here. If you guys want, I can go over to the George A. Romero grave um, and you can see that. There's a lot of things that happened here. Um, because this is so close to where the Don River was originally, you'll see graves like that that are protruding. Um, that That's actually like a broken grave um, protruding from the ground, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the Wilson family. Um, there's some, some breakage there, but it's pretty well sealed. Uh, just really interesting. Um, but yes, so this graveyard, um, it was built in the 1870s originally, and a lot of the graves here were moved from what was called the Potter's Field at the time, which was more central downtown Toronto, or the former downtown. They were all moved here. There's a lot of like grave markers and things like that here. So this graveyard, a lot of people... So 40% of this graveyard is uh, is children, unfortunately. Um, there was quite a lot of um, illnesses like diphtheria, cholera, Spanish flu, um, a lot of infant mortality. I have notes and I let, they're in this phone. <laughs> I wrote them out on paper and left them at home. So um, yeah, I actually found a really good YouTube video about it. But uh, George A. Romero is here, Jack Layton. Um, Oh, there's another tiny little grave. Interesting. It's just leaning. 
running up against that. I, I don't want to like pull it away or anything. I just want to see if there's anything behind it. Um, but yes, it's quite beautiful. <sighs> there's a uh, Wilson sticking out of the ground over there. There's a what? Wilson, that grave is sticking out oh. of the ground and like open <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Avoid anything that's extreme. Um, another fun fact. So just over here, there is a zoo. Well, now it's called the Riverdale Farm. But back in the 1800s, there was a zoo over there that had like lions and monkeys. And when they built this cemetery in 1870 to like 1890, they really started ramping it up. You would come here to visit your loved ones who had passed and you would hear monkeys screaming, uh, lions roaring and all that kind of interesting stuff. And also right across the street from here, um, that DVC there, is the uh, former Don Jail, Toronto's oh. Don Jail, and uh, a lot of uh, unknown deaths happened there. Uh, the hangings happened, I think the last one is the 1920s. We had the 1970. Last one. Oh, 1970, that's right. Yeah, 1970. I actually did a, a ghost tour, not a ghost tour, a historical tour. They didn't talk about ghosts, but I did a historical tour of the Don Jail and would love to do a ghost tour. Yeah, well, they need to open it. And we've covered it on our podcast. We talked about those. That's my yeah. first, um, first, into, like, first covers of that was the Don Jail. But, um, yeah, they used to bury the bodies, the unmarked graves. And so the Don Jail leads here to the river here, the Don River right there. So I think a lot of times what they did is, like, they probably brought bodies here, I guarantee you, like you said. Oh, there's a lot of unmarked graves unmarked here. Graves like, you're here. probably walking on people, but um, it's hard to tell. But um, it's not, the ground here is quite hard, the Canadian Shield, so it's not like um, if they buried a body, you would like step through and like collapse in. I feel like this is getting real dark, but what did you expect? Well, it did say dark. Yeah. Oh, this is off now? I was recording, just letting it record. The battery's dead. I had a full <gasps> charge. The battery's dead on my camera. Oh, it's on now. no idea what that was do either of you have a funny ghost story um, I have a few my we, we've done some pretty there's been some pretty funny stuff so I actually have a really funny story um, I was telling my fiance about the spirits in the house and I was telling him there's a spirit he's really playful hey wit there's a spirit he's really playful and he really just like wants to play um, he's like really mischievous we all know him as Adam but we don't know if that's his real name or if he's, again, playing with me. And uh, my partner was telling me that there's no such thing as ghosts. And I was like, okay, sure, bet, whatever you want. I'm like, if there's a ghost here, show him that you're real. And at that second, a cereal box off of the top shelf that had been sitting there for God knows how long, uh, I actually threw it out since because it was expired, <laughs> flew off the shelf and hit him in the head, and it was pumpkin spice Cheerios. Oh, you did yourself a favor. I, I love pumpkin spice, but that was kind of gross, that cereal. Yeah, it's not that great. But so yeah. The ghost was saving you. Like, the ghost yeah. was like, don't believe in me, motherfucker. Boom. Yes. And, uh, like, he's like, oh, save yourself the calories. That's not good. Get yourself a Starbucks latte instead. So. Yeah, he wanted to move. They don't have them yet. I did ask. Uh, at July. No, usually August. I was like, give me that good stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went and took all those notes, and they're in this phone. So, um, yeah. You're just trying to lift the mood up a little bit. I'm trying. I've got I, I'm, funny ghost story. This is at the. So I used to do a lot of like uh, down in the states. I used to go to this like kind of like wherever Ghost Adventures kind of went. Like they said, they went to that place. I checked out a few of them. So my friends and I used to do this all the time. Um. Anyhow, so the one time I think it. Oh, it was. The, uh, I want to forget the hill, Rolling Hills Sanatorium. It's a famous one in um, upstate, or just in, just outside New York, East Bethany, New York. So it's like three and a half hours from Toronto. Anyhow, we were there and we were in, so if you guys ever watched the Ghost Adventures episode, they talked about this, where they saw Roy, the big tall guy, and so, <laughs> that's the funny thing. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt, but I swear to fucking God, the doll moved. Did he really? Him. I swear to God, I just saw his head turn back, and I was like, No! Mm. 
Pumpkin spice Costco has a limited time pumpkin spice. Mix. Sorry, sorry, I should, I should have gone. Turn so on. anyhow, make a long story short. So one of the guys was giving the tour. We had all the equipment, and we went back and recorded because we got freaked out. There was like a few of us against the wall. We're having a conversation. The lights, you know, like you know, those mag lights, and uh, one of the girls got freaked out by something, right? She heard something and she freaked out. So we stopped and recorded and listened. It sounded like. It sounded like we scared the ghost because she went back like she went back and she got scared and i think that whatever was behind her and he got like so we heard us we heard her scream and then we heard another male scream there was th mostly girls and then one guy and he was holding the recorder so we think we caught a ghost screaming but it was like a more of like you scared me kind of kind of scream it was funny and i said i'm sorry i came here to get scared i didn't come here to like lie. it was we all like it seriously. We had like tears down our eyes. Like we sat there for half hour laughing at this experience. Like I think we just scared a ghost instead of the ghost scaring us. So I think what happened was a girl. She stepped back. She tripped, and that's what it was. And she tripped back, and she got scared. She screamed, and then something else screamed. So that's when we stopped their recording. We had to go back and listen to it. <laughs> that's amazing. P By the way, Pim, who's been sitting here the whole time, has been just going off nonstop. Like go off, son. Do it. Pop off. I'm just going to share the live to someone one sec. I just heard a little... <laughs> Don't forget to bring candies for her today. Um, well, I brought candles. 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 So the purple candle is for uh, awakening, and the black candle is to go sleep for spirits. I wonder if that would work, the black candle, and clear him off. kind of don't want him to go away, though. When I went down there, I got the most massivest headache, and I got disoriented. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's just popping along, doing his own thing. Oh, you stumped your foot. I was like, what the fuck Sorry, is that? Sorry, it was me. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm a little jumpy about people it. People say that... I just want to point out that when we do come to the cemetery, there are do's and don'ts about etiquettes of cemeteries, obviously. Yes. Both Catherine and I are very respectful. We never litter. We don't do anything in terms of pissing anything off. Pissing anything off, disrespecting. We don't vandalize. We don't, we don't walk don't on graves. We don't think if anything. The one thing we do is we're very respectful. Uh, we kind of do come to play to kind of prayer and just saying thank you to ever and like especially for Lily, the poor little thing. Yeah. As a mother who lost a child, I this one really hits me and so. Um, you know, so that's why I said we should bring little gifts for her. We bring candy, we bring her little things for her because it's sad to see a little cemetery there. Yeah. So if you guys were to do this, I think actually if you're into novice, if you're like new into ghost hunting, cemeteries are always great. Not all cemeteries are haunted. This one is, but Mount Pleasant is not. No, um, it's because, but the great thing about, I do say that people should go to cemeteries, especially if you have a... I have a fondness for the beauty of cemeteries because I've always loved it. I'm a tenophile, I love headstones, but if you are trying to get into the ghost, uh, ghost exploring, go visit that cemetery because you get a good feeling about respect, picking up on like how to ground yourself, but also too, like when you go into any place, you are being, you want to be respectful. So if you were to go to a well-known historical haunted place, if you're doing a ghost tour, you want to learn how to respect. So going to a cemetery is a great uh, stepping stone for that because it teaches you how to be respectful how to kind of pick up an energy, how to feel for things. And it's also very grounding too. I find cemeteries to be well, very Well, there's grounding. literal, there's little ground. Right, and so <laughs> it's also a lot of mosquitoes here. So I yeah. say cemeteries, try to find a local one that if you know around your, your, your town or wherever you are in your city that has historically that it's haunted and be respectful, right? Always yeah. be respectful when you go in this place. And that's amazing, yeah. I think a lot. And do not antagonize it. Don't be the Zach, like, I call them Bobo Bagans. Like, do not be yeah. the Zach Bagans antagonized because I think a lot of his ailments have happened to him and afflicted him because he antagonized and he thinks yeah. he learned a lot from him. And I know some experience with my friend who actually worked with them. Oh, um, so, yeah. So, you know, uh, you, you just kind of want to be respectful. And like I think, I know a lot of people don't like those adventures method where they antagonize and they so I they, don't. Like, I just don't. And be respectful. My phone started vibrating. What did it say? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, um, is going, look at that. It is solid. Yeah, he's been going off. Here, let's take it down to let's take it down to 
We, we can leave him. Leave him? Okay. Leave him for now. Okay, so let this thing cool off. Can I bring it down? I have to bring it down. There, you touch it, Grace. <laughs> Look at it going off. It doesn't go off when I touch it. You know, should I light the candle? Okay, there's nothing electrical here. This is a tree. And the highway is down the hill. Um, yeah, they're not touching. They're not touching, which is yeah. good. Okay, maybe I'll get the... Do you want to say or I'll... I can yeah. go. My trusty purple candles. Oh. <laughs> we won't start a fire, don't worry. And I'll go get that. You guys can see Kat just lit a candle. So here's what we're gonna do. Gypsy. You don't have any gypsy blood, do you? Quite possible, my family. Lily, are you around? Can you set that to orange? Can you touch the little box like you did last time and make it go to orange? Or it just stop. Can you touch that little box on your headstone there, honey? Can you touch it? Yeah, touch it. Make it go to orange. Touch a little harder. I know you're weak. Take energy from the candle. Smell that lemongrass? That's for you, sweetie. Atta girl, yeah. Make it go harder. Mom, dad. Baby sister. She just said mom, dad, baby sister is clear as day. Hmm. We're being careful. Again, every time we come here, we come with nothing but love and respect. Every time we come in here. Actually, any time I go into a cemetery. Oh yeah, we're always careful, Jesse. Don't worry. Look at the candle. It's not even windy. Now the wind's picking up. Yeah, I think there's probably enough to make it do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, look. It's coming in from the south. Lily, did you find your mommy and daddy last time? Hello. Hello. Did you hear that? Yep. Oh, screaming. Aww. Uh -huh. Just as she'll give her energy to help her. Aww. They sound like a child. They were screaming a second ago. Bree? Is Bree in the chat? Bree, are you here? Oh. Yes, I got bit by mosquito. Oh, I just saw something right there. Hey, Brad. Lily, did you see the little uh, doll I brought? His name is Pim. If you can see him, can you light up to yellow for us? Touch the little box. It's flashing. It wants to go. She listens to you. She doesn't listen to me. Lily, when we came here last year, did you come back with me? Did you come back home with me? If you did, can you make the light? Look at the candles holding on for their life. Yeah. Can you light up to yellow for me, please? Can you guys see the light here? I'm trying to move, I'm gonna zoom in a little longer. Here we go, we can see a little bit better. Maybe she needs more energy. Yeah, I think she does probably need more energy. That candle was hanging on. Oh, a bumblebee. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, oh, she's going. Look, she's green. She's green. Oh, there it is. Good job, Lily. Thank you. Great job. Wow. <laughs> she stopped as soon as I said something. <laughs> Lily, 
really do you feel better now? Maybe I should bring him down to her. Yeah, we're going to grab him. Okay, grab him. Baby mama, sure. Lily, this is Pim. I just got him last week and I really like him. Do you want to say hi to him? Oh, I have to zoom out. So let's see if I'm going to bring BMF closer to him again to see if it goes. And there we go. I just felt excited. Like, really, really excited. There it is. You have the most haunted doll. <laughs> What is the name of the doll, Lily? What is the name of this doll? Is he friendly? Yelled Lily. I just heard Lily. Yeah. Is he friendly? What is that sound? I don't know. It sounds like you're okay. I said. That wasn't it. That was the sound of like nails on it. Yes. The lights are going I off. I thought it was a squirrel or a chipmunk. There's nothing here. Oops, sorry guys. Nothing there. That literally sounded like scrape your fingers like without hurting yourself. I can't do it slow, do it slow. That was it. That was the sound. It's more aggressive. <laughs> That was more aggressive. It was like slow and kind of menacing, like, oh, I don't feel good all of a sudden. My heart's thumping. But I'm not scared, just my heart's thumping. Who touched the tree? What is your name? went to orange. Or not orange, sorry, yellow. I went to yellow. God, that candle's strong. I can smell it. <laughs> Where is she? Can you see us? What color are my shoes? Do you want to be friends with Grace? Yeah. Hey, baby. Yeah. It said your name when you were over there. Yeah. And I asked, do you want to be friends with Grace? And the lights flickered. Do you want to be friends no. with me, too? Weird, this KC meter literally doesn't go off at home with all the electricity, yet in the middle of the graveyard, 
with the doll, it's going off like crazy. Do you guys have any questions for Pim? Would you like to ask him a question? I've got Pim here. The homie Pim. <laughs> His legs are... Uh, they're like the old-fashioned wooden kind of legs. Yeah. You can see? So you guys can see it's like an old-fashioned. Okay. Would you like a glass of water, Pim? That was a good question. How old are you, Pim? Let's see if we can get him here. I'm going to ask Pim. Here, I'll grab I'm going to use my ghost detector. Oh, God. Not really an age, but thank you. How old are you, Pim? Oh, it's a, it says a Oh, God. Me? Okay. No, we're not asking how old I am. You never ask a lady their age. That's rude. Oh, he's going crazy now. Can you... Look at the lights are going. Press. Okay, no, okay, seriously. Why must you... Oh, he's probably saying, like, what are you, the press? Oh. No, we're not the press. No, we're not press. No, we just want to know how old you are. There it goes again. The tree. Yeah. He can use my, this energy, too, so which is good. So, Pim, how old are you? Oh, just to sit here, mate, you're depressed. Me too. I gained too much weight the last few months. <laughs> Can't fit into my summer clothing. Me too. Me too. Um Tear. Oh Like yes. Oh, because you said depressed. Just a city hermit, I think he's uh, addressing you because he said you're depressed, joking around. It's a tear. Oh well, yeah, every time it, every time you talk, it responds in the lights. I know. Hey guys, I'm holding this out from all the electric electrical stuff. Okay, Pam, can you tell us if you're happy or sad? Can you just tell us here? Are you happy or sad? If you're happy, make it go brighter. Oh, happy. Yep. Oh. If you're, if you're happy that Grace found you, 
Sorry, I got some mosquitoes. Make it go bright. If you're happy, oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 oh. It went cute. to orange. That's crazy. Look at it. It's going to orange. And she and red. And she named you Pim. Do you like the name Pim? Light up if you like the name Pim. You bought a scary doll? Can we see? That's awesome. Oh, look at this. It's going red. It's only one red. Okay, let's try to wow. ask it a no question. Okay. Um, did you like spending time in the store by yourself? No. It's not lighting up as much. Yeah. Do you want to stay with Grace forever? Go all the way to red if you want to stay with Grace forever and ever and let her keep you. Oh, yeah. there it is. Oh, I did fall in love with him. Look at his little face. Hey, Pim, do you like having me around too? Not so much. Nope, nope. It went to orange. It went to orange. Yep, no, he does. Tolerates me. Pim, do you want to go on adventures? Right, we are. Comfort. He's a comfort. Aw, that's nice. Aw, Pim. But honestly, guys, look at that little face. Like, isn't that... He's so cute. He feels heavier than he looks. <laughs> you bought a dog and she was not staying with you? Oh, he stopped. He stopped. Aw. Pim, you're very cute. Was she saying not me? I told him he's cute and the lights say that. He is cute. Are you a boy, Pim? That's what I asked. Oh my gosh, somebody just asked if he's non-binary. Non Why can I say non-binary? They could be non-binary. Are you, are you a boy? No? Are you a girl? Oh, non-binary. Are you both? Oh, it just lit, it just lit, so it you went to yellow. Both. If you want to be both a boy and a girl, or not a boy and not a girl, you can be. Tell me you're excited. It knows that uh, it's welcome in our house. With my pride flag we have. <laughs> Pam, do you like birds? We have two cats at home, so I know he likes the cats like him. You like the kitty cats, Ben? Oh yeah, he's got a horn. Yeah. Well, I keep him somewhere safe so the cats don't play with him. Sorry. Gun. Why would you say gun? I don't like that. But didn't you just hear that? Squirrels. No, but I heard, hey, hey, ma'am. No. Just right there. That's why I looked over. This happened last time, remember? Literally, we were yeah. sitting here, I kept hearing things. Okay, I'll turn this off for a bit and see if it reset. What was that? A cry. Pim, do you like being outside? Yeah. Yeah. Pim, do you like being outside? I know, the mosquitoes are really bad. Um, why is his face moving? Why is his face getting big and... Here, look at this. It was like... The screen... Did you guys see that? The screen going in and out on his face? You did see that, right? Hey, Victoria! This moth was oh, here boy. last time. Mohammed got a scary doll. He said he bought the doll, the scary doll. She was poking you. Three. Okay. 
I have no idea what the heck that was. I have no idea, but that was weird. The screen, the screen literally it like zoomed in and out of his face. But like in his face, like the cheeks moved. Like it was like, you know, you kind of blow your cheeks. Like that, that's what it looked like. And everybody else just saw that. At least it's recorded. Is that TikTok? Fil- no, you have no filters on. You didn't put any filters on, did you? No. No. There's no filters on here right now. Oh, my card is No. My There's no filter on this. Just the other yeah, it, it was like he was talking, or she, yes. Holy fuck. What, what, what? Literally, I thought someone was going through her bag right there. What I look this? over, and I'm literally seeing someone block the sun. I look up, there's no one there. Oh, the beauty filter stays on. That's why. Okay. Woo. I was going to say I'm going to crap my pants. Hold on. Nope. No filter. That was weird. It was throbbing, yeah. But there's no filter on right now. Like even the beauty one, I'm just checking right now. Um, enhance. Nope. He is pretty. I know, look at his eyes. I'll show you guys. Like it's an interesting doll. You're gonna walk? Okay, Catherine's gonna walk. I'm gonna show you guys, because Pim is an interesting doll. In terms like, you can see his legs. It's like this old fashioned wooden dolls. And he's kind of like soft up through here. And he's got like, oh, his little pantaloons are falling down. Pim, I have no shame, Pim. And his little, this is what killed me. Look at the little clogs. Oh, look at his little clogs. I have no idea where he came from. Like I said, I saw him at Valley Village and I fell in love with him and I took him home right away. It's his features. I love these kind of dolls. I swear to God, there was someone standing right there. Like solid, solid, solid. So Catherine says she just saw something, like a shadow, standing right behind us. But it was like completely solid, Grace. Like it was like a dude was standing right there. He was tall. He was like six feet tall. I did see something. I thought I, I thought it was just the wind in the trees, but in terms of cutting he out. He was standing right there. Like I, I swear to God, I, it was so solid. Oh yeah, the, like the beauty filter is always on now. Oh, is it? Yeah, even for lives. No, apparently it's just like a standard feature now. That's what. Well, still, it's creepy that it did. You know, <laughs> it was creepy. It did to the doll's face. What's it up? is active. I think he's using... He's using the energy. I think he's using everybody's energy right now, so... He's very active right now. It's your energy he's using. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. There's a, there's a, there's a filter does again. Yeah, the filter's doing it again. It's weird. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at that. When you hit a certain spot, the face... You guys see that now? Yeah. When he hits the golden hour sun. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, get my best side. <laughs> get my best side, Chris. Look at that. Pim, what color do oh, you like? A person. I was like, what the fuck is that? What? Where? Oh. There's a guy over there. We can ask questions. Yeah, Pim, do you like to sing? Go to red all the way if you can flash to red if you like to sing. But that guy that was just there, the real person, yeah. um, was wearing pink. Yeah. The yeah, person was... that was there was wearing like all black. Like a Shut black up. suit. Like it had like shoulder pads. Was he tall? He looks pretty tall. 
Like, he wasn't as tall as, like, that uh, monument right there, but he was there. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder guess it's, it's, I don't need no filter. It's true. Him loves, him loves the sun. Mm-hmm. Well, his, with his complexion, he's got to be careful. He's going to burn. Yeah, Pim, you're quite blonde. Mm. Yes, Pim is very single. Yeah, is that what he said? Oh, there's a guy right there. It scared me. He's probably wondering what we're doing. How do you go? Trinity. He's smoking weed with a Look at this. Trinity. Fun. Him, you getting a little religious on us, buddy? Ritual. Because there was a ritual there. I just want to show you guys a can. This is ritual. Europe. Well, there is predominantly a lot of Europeans buried here. Yeah. Are you mimicking Pim? Because he's a little Dutch boy. That sounded very Dutch. Yeah. Did you hear the knocking again? I'm hearing everything. Catch. It says catch. The glare. Yeah, haunted pumpkin. I don't know. Dolls? I. These kind of dolls, like these very antique style dolls I love I just don't like those um you know those those ones that you used to see in the infomercial kind of thing or you used to see like at like one of those like kind of stores they had like those porcelain doll faces like those really cheap looking ones I don't like the, those ones these ones I love and I'm always looking and hunt quite handsome. yeah he is a catch ha huh? catch catch whoop phone going down blood it says blood Okay, well, yeah. that's a little cryptic, but it's okay. Good question. Pim, are you from Europe? Are you from Holland? Hmm? <laughs> One stays in the garage, your porcelain dolls. My mom tried to give me, I had a collection of all these kind of like those porcelain dolls from Europe. Like I got from, tell me that's a squirrel. Uh, tell me that's a squirrel. Oh, it's a squirrel. Thank God. Um, and yeah, my mom has been trying to pawn off and trying to make me bring back these toys to her house. But my husband's like, nope. But these dolls, believe it or not, he actually likes. It shut off and it's still making this noise. No, the app is shut off. Oh. Okay. Mm. It's funny, now Pim is quiet. Ow, ow. You okay? <laughs> Pim is totally quiet right now. Oh, nope, now he's back. Pim, are you tired? Sorry guys, I'm trying to focus here. It's been kind of hard with the sun here. There we go, that's better. Hmm. Pim, are you tired? Sorry guys, I have mosquitoes everywhere here. I'm gonna put them on my leg here. 
It'll be easier for me to do this way. Yes, mosquitoes are evil. They're horrible. I guess. Pim, are you tired? Remember. Okay, yellow. I guess he's. Yes. Yes, I think. Pim, yep. Do you hate mosquitoes, Pim? Yep. Oh, and he's gone to... <laughs> you know, it's funny. Last time, Catherine and I did big bring uh, bug spray. We forgot it this time. I know. Ooh, sorry. Oops, sorry, Pim. Sorry, buddy. These mosquitoes are being a bunch of jerks. They're attacking me. Yep, he agrees. Pim? Do you want to say hi to Lily? Sure. Let's see if he does this one more time. He said understanding. Did he? Oh. Sorry, guys, can't understand. Yes, tea tree and peppermint is great oil. Okay, Pam, we're gonna be going soon. Do you want to say bye to Lily? If you can, can you go to yellow or orange for me? Can you say bye to Lily for us, Pim? The noise just went again on the tree. He's quiet now. Dirt. Oh, saying bye to Lily. Thanks, Pim. Hey, guys. So we're probably going to pack it in because um, we don't want to be locked in the cemetery because, you know, getting locked in the cemetery, Grace is laughing her ass off. Getting locked in the cemetery is really fun if you don't know. Um, for those of you who have ever been locked inside of a cemetery. But, uh, yeah, batteries are draining and, uh, your girl is thirsty. So, um, we're gonna pack it up. But thank you guys so much for joining us. Super fun. I'm gonna get a little bit more footage from the graveyard. And then I will be posting a new YouTube whenever I <laughs> finish editing it. Um, but yeah, it was good to see you guys. Thank you all for being here. And thank you to Grace for all Hi. your amazing camera work. Bye, friends. See you later. See you guys later. Catch you on the flippity flip. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs>